Hi, welcome to the screencast. We're going to show you how to create an intensity map like this using Google Fusion Tables. We're going to use data we downloaded from the World Bank's World Development Indicators and we downloaded this data from ESDS International which was shown in a previous screencast. Let's start by opening up the file you created earlier. First of all, we need to tidy up the file a little. So let's change country slash group just to country like this. Move the series title to the row above the data, like this. In the series title, we just need to include the year information. So let's type that in. We need bibliographic information for later, so let's copy that line. Now let's delete rows 1 through to 6, because we no longer need these. Great, that looks how we want it. So let's save the file to a location of your choice. Go to google.com forward slash fusion tables. You'll need a Google account. I've already got one, so I'll log straight in. Click New Table and then Import Table. Browse to the file you created earlier. Click Next. Check that everything looks OK and then click Next again. We need to fill in the information about the data, so let's paste in the citation information we copied earlier. The last part of the citation, the DOI, let's just cut that and paste that into the attribution page link field. Give the table a name. Give it the name of the series. Proportion of seats held by women and national Parliaments during 2010. And then click Finish. Your data has now been loaded into Google Fusion. Notice that all of the countries are highlighted in yellow. That indicates that Google Fusion hasn't geocoded all of the countries. So you could go to File and Geocode geocode again. This will take a little bit of time. When finished, um, hit refresh. Go through to see if any of the countries are still highlighted in yellow. And for the ones highlighted in yellow, click the globe icon next to them. Try to zoom out a little. And if there's a green marker like there is here, just um, click it. Great, we've just now fixed Canada and go through similarly to do any of the others. Let's try another. Look at the Democratic Republic of Korea. Let's click the globe icon. And we'll need to zoom in to the location. And here we can see it's named North Korea in Google Maps, so let's just type that in. Click search. Let's zoom out a little, make sure. Yep, and then click the green marker and use this location. You need to do this with all the countries that are highlighted in yellow. I've now corrected all of the countries. Now click Visualize and Intensity Map. But it's a good idea to have a little check through to see if there's been any mistakes. Some countries are missing. Look, for example, Australia and the Congos. And if you look, Italy's um, mislabeled as the former Yugoslavian Republic of Macedonia. 
Let's go and correct these and see if you can spot any others too. So I click on Visualize and Table. So let's take a look at Australia first of all. Click on the globe icon. And looks like we just need to click the green marker and use this location. Do the same for the others you have found. I've now made all the corrections I could find, so I'll open up the map again. Hover over the countries to see the values. The Scandinavian countries, for example, have a high proportion of women in national parliaments, as do some African countries. Rwanda, for example, has the highest proportion at 56.3%. So what can you do next? You could use your keyboard's print screen key and paste the map into a document. You could also embed the map into a website, but to do this you would need to make the data publicly available. Check the special conditions to see if this is possible. And also remember to cite the data. Thank you for watching this screencast.